We are the Purple Scythe Mercenary Company. It is imperative that some precious commodities of my employer reach Sonneberg as safely and quickly as possible. There it is. Wow, it's all the way up there. Seems that that was nice and easy. All right, come on then, Gisbert. In you come. You can come and join my mercenary company. Go to this so-called Sharp Blades ambush and ruin its day, as they have ruined my many of mine. Oh, look, we're actually in a forest. Nice. Here, Gisbert. We need you and your bow again. Make it happen, man. Make it happen. <laughs> oh no! He just killed. He just killed Theodore. Gisbert, no! What are you doing? Come on, man. How did he die? How did he die? He got reposted on. Erhard the humble has been slain. Oh, this isn't. This has not turned out to be quite as um. As, as good of a fight as I had hoped for. All right, Winrich, stick a, stick a bolt in that guy's face. That'll make everybody feel better. Go on, make it happen, man, make it happen. Yes, get in there. Gisbert, can you shoot him yet? Oh, you can. Go on then, go on then, Gisbert. Yes, that, that at least makes him feel a little bit better, right? That he got a, that he got a hit in. Now it's time to split him in half. And the battle is won, but two slain! Not just one, but two slain! We lost Erhard the Humble, who was one of my personal favourites, I have to say, and Theodobald the Stallion, who was another one of my favourites. Two of the good guys, two of the guys with second bits to their names. That's a that's a crushing loss right there. It's absolutely a crushing loss. Um, but we've got a bit of XP for the guys who survived. Gisbert the Pious. He's got 136 XP, but he's got to be feeling pretty, pretty sorry for himself right now. And the rest of the team, are they going to listen to his preaching now? Who can say? 307 coins. Uh, we got some provisions. We, of course, got Rags the War Dog. We get him back. He's still alive. A tree limb. A couple of tree limbs. A feral shield. Poor old, poor old Theodobald's axe. Poor old Theodobald's pickaxe. Oh, someone's going to have to take up the, the pickaxe and uh, seek to avenge him forevermore. All right, well, we succeeded at, at reasonable cost there. Oh, the humanity. Did they come with their own burial gold? Uh, well, we just leave them for the dogs to eat. Uh, we, we give them to rags, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's, it's the way of the mercenary. You return to Sonnenberg with blood dripping proof of absolute destruction in hand. The townsfolk almost seemed disappointed. It appears they hoped for something to justify their hysterics while all you've brought is another piece of reality, abundantly mortal in its deathly state. Regardless, the mayor sees to seems to appreciate you have alleviated him of yet another superstitious panic. The satchel he hands over carries the weight of a job well done. Crowns well deserved. Uh, crowns earned with, with blood, for sure. We better replace some of our losses here. I suppose let's get Vander. Um, he looks like a, a stout, stout fellow. Working here and there, Vander is known as a daytailer. Oh, not another daytailer. Uh, the last time we hired a daytailer, he died immediately. Uh, but, uh, but I suppose we should get him. Look at these guys. He's like a knight or something. Sir Hildrich and Sir Conrad and Sir Theo, three knights. We haven't got anywhere near the funds to hire them, but one day, one day. Fine, uh, we'll take the day tailor. He can come join our crew. He's a day tailor. He's dumb. Uh, what? This character isn't the brightest and new concepts take a while to really stick with him. Uh, cocky, all too easy. This character can be a bit too cocky for his own good. Minus five melee defense, minus five range defense, but plus five resolve. Uh, I think he sounds like just like a regular sword and board kind of guy, to be honest with you. Nothing too complicated for him. Wolfram is going to, he's going to take up Theodobald's pickaxe. Uh, he, he had become fast friends with Theodobald, although he is somewhat faint-hearted. What about this guy? He looks kind of humble. A fat man seems to be following you, his presence rather hard to miss. As you look back, you see him struggling to keep pace. While he's not exactly hot on your heels, he obviously has something to say. You pause, giving the rotund stranger time to catch up. He finally gets to you and starts talking, but it's as if his words are still lagging behind, each one unleashed behind a gulp of breath. <sighs> There's someone in Borghaven, eagerly awaiting this package. Can you deliver it? Just seven days? Men have killed each other over this, so you must be ready to defend it with sword in hand. As soon as you arrive in Boghaven, 
You will get paid for your work. How does 180 crowns sound to your ears? It sounds kind of low. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, man, fat man who has no name. Uh, oh, you in or should I find somebody else? Well, like I say, where is Boghaven? Does anybody know? We don't really know the lay of the land. And it could be miles and miles and miles away. Um, but then again, the last delivery job that we did, nobody died. In fact, we didn't even get attacked. So, uh, sure, we'll make sure it arrives safely. Why not? Where is Boghaven? It's over there, look. Boggenheim. Sorry, not Boghaven. Uh, we have to go back via the Orkbane Tower and then north. We can do that. Come, mercenary crew. Those of you who have not been on the march with us before, we, we maintain uh, a steady pace. And uh, there's no slouching or falling behind. Otherwise, you'll be put to death and uh, rags will have you for dinner. Uh-oh, there's a hunting pack. There's a hunting pack coming for us. It's all right. Should we take them out? They're like even. I kind of like to just build up some cash without losing any more guys to like, you know, even fights. I'd much rather, you know, have a, a nice easy fight. A fight where the odds are stacked in my favor. That sounds like the sort of thing that a mercenary company would be interested in. A delivery to Bogheim. Entering Bogheim, Bogenheim, you find that a man is already waiting for you. He leaps off a fence and jogs over, asking you if, if you have it. How does he even know that we're bringing it? You hand the package over to him, finally. Countless moons, I had to wait for this. As promised, here is your reward. A pretty meager reward it was, but uh, better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, what are the men here? Do we have any cheapy men that we can hire for our team? Olafur, he looks kind of cheap. Enthralled by a sheep herding competition, Olafur took to sheep herding as a surprisingly competitive vocation. When the hulking furry beasts slaughtered his flock, the shepherd was left looking for vengeance. While stopping into town to think things Ola, Olafur stumbled upon a call for mercenaries. With nothing to lose, he is ready to sign up. You know what? He looks like he looks like a true successor to Theodobald, does he not? He, you're hired. You're going to be the new theatre vault for sure. Um, Valdemar the Mad. Th 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 Thorben the Insane. He's hired. I don't even have to read his stuff. You're just hired, Thorben the Insane. Clothed in rags, it is strange the man neither sweats nor shakes in heat or cold. He clutches a scroll as if it protects him from the very elements. It reads... Hmm. Quaint. You're hired! Airbold Throat Slash. Airbold Throat Slash has a face that no one desires, one fit for a wanted poster. His eyes are dark and shifting, there is a crime behind them, but also a sense of humanity, as if he knows he has done wrong and is looking to make amends. A man of Eberold's physique could be useful, but how much can you depend upon a man whose former life was one of being on the run? You're hired! Our coins are running low. We've got 19 days of coinage. We've got... Where's our food? Oh, we've got loads of provisions. Well, we've got nine days. I say loads of provisions. We use 20 a day and we have 194. So we've got nine days of provisions. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's check on our new guys and see if they need equipping. Olafur, you're going to take... Uh, Wolfram is going to see the... Um, the, the tools of the mighty and legendary Theobald, Theodobald to you because he thinks that you are more suited to them uh, given your uh, your appearance and your general uh, proclivity for um, for uh, for the ways of the Theodobald. Look what's he got. He's superstitious. It's cursed. This character is highly superstitious and therefore more vulnerable to skills that directly attack his resolve. Oh, that's not good, is it? He's also he's also an asthmatic. Uh, short of breath and prone to coughing, this character takes longer to recover from fatigue than others. Um, well, I mean, you know, that's fine. We don't really mind. He's got his warthog and he's got his pickaxe. And that's all that matters. Onward to adventure and glory! You there! A messenger states that the mayor of Bogheim seeks a another mayor, eh? Rumors of ghosts and dead walking, orcs, bandits. I've heard them all! Whatever it is, it's causing problems. I need Bogheim's farming, farmer's farming. Not pitter-patting over the hearsay of bored gits. So go and see what's there, and if you find something, run a blade through it. Would you? 470 crowns. I shall put an end to this. We've got to cross the river here, I guess. <sighs> Along the road! You meet a monk on the road, and with him is a donkey-pulled cart. The poor draught animal carrying its head low in mute exhaustion. 
Broom straw and a virid moss are strung up to one side of the cart, both twisting eagerly in the very winds that dried them, and some pots and pans clutter like rustic wind chimes in the modest wares come to a bumbling stop. A barrel totters on the edge of the cart's bed, and a couple of bees sway to keep up, poking and prodding at its cracks with thirsty curiosity. The monk lifts a wool hat up out of his face, but the lip of it falls back down over his eyes. He takes it off altogether and passes a sleeve across his brow. Carrying a jolly smile, he seems not at all disturbed by the veritable living armory standing before him. Evening, gents. Don't suppose you're the kind to march beneath the Lord's banner? You'll look like sellswords to me. Uh, what, what is it you carry? Aye, I was thinking you'd ask. This here is Bessie, a cow's name for a donkey's arse. Don't worry, she won't kick ya. She's all hard out, see? What she'll carry, well, that's a beer for men yonder, so that they may drink to men above, if you don't mind. Or if you don't mind me business, I'd like to get on with where I'll be going. The monk picks up the reins of his jenny as he readies to start moving. How many crowns for a round of beer? We earned this by keeping the road safe. Take the beer, men. <laughs> okay, okay, are we gonna rob? The guy, or are we going to pay him for some beer? Um, it, it's up to you, obviously, uh, men of the purple scythe. Uh, let me know what you think. Meanwhile, let's see what uh, what else we've got going on in the chat here. Welcome, Emerald, to the purple scythes. We promise that you'll live at least for a day. Maybe. We probably shouldn't promise life to these people at all. No, we shouldn't. Uh, it keeps up the morale. That is true. It absolutely does. Um, don't worry, men. You will all live forever. I guarantee it. Just don't tell them about what happened to the other purple sides. Yeah, don't talk about them. Except, of course, the legend of Theodobald, who uh, who gave his life in a glorious battle, uh, wherein he killed a dozen enemies with his bare hands and his pick, of course, before eventually being uh, brought down by many, many uh, terrifying foes. But um, yeah, that's that is the legend of Theodobald. Is it possible to get scythes as weapons? Well, we will look. We will certainly start to look from now on. We must have scythe-wielding soldiers. We must have scythe-wielding soldiers. It's true. Yes, we must. Pay. Be legitimate. I think we seem to be a legitimate group. Pay him. All right, we're going to pay them. How many crowns for a round of beer? You hold your hand up, stopping the monk before he can get going. He sighs slowly, lowering the reins out of his hand, feeling as though he may be getting the wrong impression. You quickly ask if maybe he has a beer to spare for your men. You are more than willing to pay. The monk looks back at his stock for a moment, then turns around. Aye, damn it to hells if the old gods wouldn't be happy with your money crossing my palms. If you fight the good fight, then I bid you to take some for free. But not all of it, of course. You thank the monk for his generosity and order your men to be modest with their drinking. As a few brothers circle around to the cask, the monk throws up his hands. Don't mind the bees round the top. They'll scurry when you come, but if you scurry when they scurry, they'll scurry after you. Strange little kits. Oh, there you go. Look, Wolf is in good spirits. Everybody is in good spirits because of it. Prost! And on we go. All right, men, we have arrived. Your scouts report seeing some bandit thugs. All right, let's engage the bandit thugs. And it's another battle in a forest. Whose idea was this? It's another battle in a forest. No! <laughs> Look, this guy here looks like he's, um, he's, he's going to be trouble. He's got one of those masks around his face. Uh, probably because he's some kind of badass. Have an arrow in it! Yes! Nice shot there! Gisbert. Um, Alright, Gisbert. Now, hopefully you're not going to shoot these people who have stood right in front of you, okay? That, that would prove a bad thing. Uh, go for the same guy. Oh, yes! Yeah, straight away! That's what the archers do for you. Um, they are possibly the best. Eberold, er, 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 Eberold, Eberold. I think your name is Eberold. Um, you can just advance forward a wee bit, form a new line here, like this. Try and try and like form a line of defense here. We're gonna kind of wait for them to come to us. Thorburn, you just kind of hold your high ground up there. Shield wall it up. Move here, Winrich. Can you shoot one of these? You can look. This guy. Ah, oh, nice shot, Winrich. The hat is clearly beginning to make you feel powerful and mighty. Oh, that's a big move. Olaf, move up. Now, if you move there, you'll have four left, right? Which is enough to actually attack, so you might as well. 
It's not enough. Why did he not have four left? That cost three to move, apparently. Uh, is he some kind of... Uh, uh, Oliver! What's wrong with you, man? Seriously, um, you're no good at all. What have you got here? Unleash the war dog. No, don't unleash the war dog. Don't, don't, don't channel the inner ball just yet. All right, Eberold, it's time to puncture this fool. A well-placed attack of the opponent's armor's weak spots ignores all armor, but it's harder to hit. Cannot land critical hits for additional damage. This guy, his armor is untouched. 19% chance to hit. 44% chance to hit. That's much better. It was a miss anyway. And again, that's more like it, man. Uh, Alright, Wolfram, you better move up as well, and we'll kind of like form our line here. Or not. Pick off these guys, I said. Oh. Yeah, oh, nice, nice one. Gizbert the Pious. Uh, he is making amends for his previous mistakes and errors. I guess moving in the forest costs three. Uh, that must be why I got confused with the old movement. Should we destroy this guy's armor? <laughs> Pow! Armor destroyed. And then. Just pick him in the face. Good man, good. All right, reload Winrich. And take out another one of these fools. Or not. Yep, the uh, the north team can just work their way around. Everyone's dodging. They're all dodging like mad. Go for this guy. Oh, nice. Wolfram. Making it count there. Ooh. Oh, Wolfram took a hit. Wolfram took a big hit. Bertel, get stuck in, Bertel. It's time to do your uh, splitting man attack. Oh, it was a miss. It was a miss. All right, reload, Winrich. And 31% chance. Oh, it was a miss. Attack, Vanda. Attack again. Kill this guy. Oh, yes. Nice. Did everybody got, everyone got like a something. Archer. There is a, there is a slight chance you'll hit. Uh, this this guy, I think that's Wolfram in front of you, but surely not. Wolfram, Wolfram's like his heart stopped for a minute there as the arrow came whizzing over his shoulder. Uh, all right, Wolfram, finish the job. You don't want any more archers taking pot shots, do you? End the fight. It's gonna come down to Bertel splitting a man in half, isn't it? This is gonna be it. The final act of the mercenary company in this battle. A glorious battle. A battle in which we have kicked. Some serious bandit ass. Bertel, split this fool in half. Oh, Bertel, after that little speech, seriously, you couldn't finish him off? Oh, we're fine. If he kills somebody now before we have a chance to do anything, I'm holding you personally responsible. They're all coming round. They all want a piece of the action. Wait for us. We want to kill him. We want to be the one to kill him. XP. Must have XP. Who's going to be the kill stealer? Bertel, come on, Bertel. This is it, man. This is your chance. If you don't kill him now, someone is going to come around and, and steal the kill. And frankly, you'll be laughed at in camp later on uh, for your folly. Nice! He took his head. 